Hey, crypto traders, checking in on Bitcoin. So, where we last checked in, the four hour time frame was the most clear for us. Four hour, 12 period exponential moving average held as support for over a week. When you have a clear level like that, I get tunnel vision on only that level until it breaks. So an example is, let's say we have resistance, whether it's an exponential moving average or a price level. Let's say 8,800 is resistance and we hit it once. Okay, we pull back, we recognize. Some of us say, okay, that's clear resistance. We hit it again, that double top now makes it clear resistance for a broader base of people. More people are now watching that. Hit it a third time, everybody's watching that resistance level. So it's the same thing on a setup like this. Another way that I use it is when you have a pattern of a high or low every single candle on a big bull move or a big bear move. And I just watch and wait for that pattern to break as my signal for short-term direction. And until that pattern breaks, that's the most important factor. So in this instance for Bitcoin, the fact that we held this four period exponential, this four hour, 12 period exponential support for so long told me that's all I should care about short term. And when that level is lost, I'll zoom out and focus on other things. But as long as that level is holding, it's the most important factor. We held it for a significant amount of time. We broke out. We consolidated and started grinding it again, and then we finally lost it. And as soon as this candle closes, I didn't go bearish because I'm trading on Coinbase, but I would be comfortable going bearish and putting my stop over 9,200. And at this point, not a ton of follow through, but we did drop down and we did end up seeing about 3% of follow through. And that's worthwhile enough to at least be looking in that direction. So that was notable. But now we look at the 12 hour chart because again, I zoom out and try and find, okay, I was watching the four hour exponential support. That's no longer support. What am I looking to now for clarity? Where is my most clear setup? And for me, it's the 12 hour. We have the high of the breakout, the low of the pullback. Our lower high was set at $9,203 and we pulled back significantly. This is an equilibrium, high, low, lower high. And we're looking for a higher low compared to 8,407. Has it formed at 8,533? Possibly, I need a bit more follow through if I'm gonna be confident saying, yes, it has. Looking on the four hour chart, we need to see this four hour trend change back to the bulls if we're gonna say our 12 hour higher low has been set. And the bulls are hoping that this is a bit of a four hour inverse head and shoulders where we have our left shoulder, our head. If we fail here and have to pull back, we'll look for a higher low. Bulls will have to hold 85.33 and then break resistance to change the four hour trend and set the 12 hour higher low. So at this point in time, I know what's going on on the weekly time frame. I know the daily chart, but I'm focused tunnel vision on the 12 hour time frame as the most important time frame for me. And when we break this range, I will then change it and I'll go to a different time frame and find the most important time frame. So bulls are keeping their control bottom line. This has resulted in daily consolidation. We know we're just looking for a daily higher low because the last one was all the way down at 677, 6,776. So to go on my previous point, look at the pattern. We had a higher low every single, excuse me, every single day on Bitcoin, 10, 11 days in a row. If you go bearish, as soon as that pattern breaks, which it broke at 87.62, again, you have a little bit of profit, you have some comfortability and some room to work with as a bear. And you could say to yourself, I have no interest in a bearish position as long as we're setting a higher low every single day. So will the bears get any follow through? That remains to be seen. But again, it's enough follow through at this point to at least establish a trade game plan around and set a stop loss to protect that position. So I wanna point out the trade alerts here, what's been firing off that's been useful. So our super stack alert, the newest one that we have added or the, certainly the most popular one that we've added. This is Bitcoin on the hourly time frame, And we had the hourly super stack showing overextended conditions in the low 9,000s, 9,100-ish. Marked a top, we've been since pulling back and then look at the bottom, had a really nice one fire off marking that low. So the super stack certainly still working, even though we're in a condensed range and a tightening 12 hour time frame, because it's the hourly chart here, still getting some nice signals, which pretty much marked our 12 hour lower high and is now trying to mark our 12 hour higher low. And these super stacks on the hourly time frame over the last two days are showing up on a lot of different altcoins as well. We will look at some other ones in a bit. So the Bitcoin dominance chart, again, higher low every single day, six days in a row. That's the most important short term pattern for me, because if that pattern keeps up, we have no daily consolidation underway. When that pattern breaks, we know to zoom out and look for a daily higher low to try and form. And we will expect that higher low because the bulls have so much space to work with. 
So for now, this is telling us not only did Bitcoin break out faster than altcoins on the way up, but the altcoins are dropping faster than Bitcoin on this consolidation as well. So some of the altcoins we're about to look at have already dropped to 12 hour lower lows while Bitcoin is still in a tightening pattern. What stands out to me? Look at the four hour exponential support here on the Bitcoin dominance chart. That's something to be watching in the short term. So ETH, ETH on the 12 hour chart. First, let's go to the daily. So we know we're consolidating right now. We have a daily higher low of 189.60. Anything above that keeps the daily uptrend intact. But on the 12 hour chart, it's a lower high and a lower low. It's a very different setup. Look at the increasing bear volume. And it is showing us that the Bitcoin dominance is remaining strong and the altcoins are weakening compared to Bitcoin. We set our 12 hour lower high at 219.48 and we dropped down and broke support of 202. So we're in a 12 hour downtrend and we need to see the bulls change the four hour trend back in their favor if we're going to be looking for a daily higher low to try and be set to maintain the daily uptrend. If we lose the daily uptrend, we know our weekly top is set. So that's certainly very important to us. And again, it's that pattern of a higher low every single candle. And when that breaks, we know there's a, a momentum shift going on. ETH BTC, the triple top and then break of support has seen beautiful follow through if you are a bear on this chart. Keep in mind, bigger picture, we knew what's the most likely scenario. When you see this kind of setup, you're looking for an equilibrium because of the range being traded here. And we knew to be looking for a lower high. So as soon as we triple top on the daily and lose daily support, that is some convincing action that our weekly lower high has been set. And we're now looking for a weekly higher low compared to 202. When I look at this weekly chart of ETH BTC, I'm looking at what brings to mind for me is Carnival Cruise Lines. Why? How does that make any sense? Well, I've been trading CCL in the stock world for the last two weeks. And I went bullish today because the 12 hour time frame looked like this. When you see this kind of range, a huge breakout and a huge pullback, you know the most likely scenario is an equilibrium. And that allowed me to get some nice gains today going bullish on a weak start to the morning. So when I look at this ETH BTC chart, we were looking for the lower high because of the very similar big breakout, big pullback, look for an equilibrium. So you better believe that if this bounce gets followed through over the next day or two, I'm looking for a lower high and tightening range. A little tangent there, but certainly relevant to me in my day. So looking at LTC USD, daily time frame, we topped out, we broke the pattern of a higher low each day, and now our last daily higher low is 43.19. 12 hour time frame, lower high and lower low, showing us it is weaker than Bitcoin, and can the bulls maintain the daily uptrend is the question that we have for the rest of the week. Bulls must change the four hour trend back in their favor for a daily higher low to be established. XRP USD. So daily topping out here. And this is a little bit different where you could call this a daily downtrend on the break of 2081. At this point though, it has no bear follow through. So look at the 12 hour chart here. High, low, lower high, lower low with no bear follow through. So bulls are loving that fact. More bear follow through on ETH and LTC at this point. And XRP bulls are hoping that this is going to keep the daily chart in their favor because the bear break has no follow through at this point. Daily 12 period exponential support currently holding this pullback. BNB. So BNB gave us a little bit of a red flag early on because this was their breakout candlestick where most altcoins were much stronger on their bull break candle. But we have the high, low, lower high, sideways trading, bear break, zooming out to the daily time frame. Tons of space for the bulls to hold. Anything above 1469 is a daily higher low. We had a higher low every single day, 11 days in a row. And as soon as that broke at 1726, again, very solid follow through of over 5%. Keep it simple. That's a very simple pattern. Higher low every single day, as soon as it starts getting towards eight, nine, 10 days or 10 candles, whether I'm on the four hour time frame or whatever, it's a very notable shift when that pattern breaks. Link USD. So Link is losing the daily uptrend. Let's see here, 346 and 351. So I take that back, not just yet, a little premature there. Have to break 346 for the daily uptrend to be lost, but we're definitely looking a bit toppy. And if that level breaks, 
Weekly consolidation will clearly be underway. We have a pattern of a higher low every single weekly candle for seven in a row. This is the eighth one this week. When it breaks, we look for the equilibrium due to the very large range in the dump and the bounce. Four hour time frame has to change the trend back to the bulls. Here's the bulls defending that daily support and they're doing a good job so far. So daily uptrend remaining intact. Anything under $4 is just a daily lower high. And I would bet that there's gonna be some bears looking for that lower high entry. And if you look at this on the 12 hour time frame, it's a potential head and shoulders. This is the left neckline. This is our head. This is a right neckline holding support. And if we top out, can't break $4 and roll over, we will have a head and shoulders pattern indicating a weekly top being set. Link on the TraderPro.com alerts has been going very well for tops. This is the super stack alert, the big green candle, because it's bigger than these candles. That tells me it's on a larger time frame. So this was a daily top back in mid-April that led to a bunch of pullback. We then have four hour tops leading to significant pullback. Most recently, another four hour top indicating the top and a significant pullback. So showing a great sign. And this is helpful if I'm in a bullish position or if I'm looking bearish. If I'm looking bearish and wanna be aggressive fighting the trend, I can be scaling in once these signals hit. If I'm trading with the trend and have a bullish position, which is obviously ideal, it can tell me, hey, take some off. Maybe I take half of my profit off every time one of these fires and I have a goal of reloading that half, maybe 5% cheaper. And that's a way to continually lower my cost basis, sell into strength and lock in some of that precious profit that we can know that we know can disappear very quickly. So that's just one way to use the alert system. Even if it's firing off signals that are can seem counterintuitive to the direction I'm trading, but it's a heads up, take some profit signal. XTZ USD, still holding on to the daily uptrend though just barely. Support is 255, we drop down to 259. Very similar setup it looks like to link. Could this be a head and shoulders on the 12 hour time frame? Certainly possible and certainly to watch for it. And we would have to fail to break 305 and then roll over and break 259 and 255 supports to confirm the head and shoulders pattern. So bulls are defending the daily uptrend and they're successful to this point. Question is, can they keep that up for the next few days? BCH USD, 12 hour time frame, lower high and lower low with notable follow through. And the weekly time frame topping out here is also very notable. The fact that we have not broken to the high of the bounce in the last three plus weeks where the vast majority of individual coins have done so. BSV, USD, 12 hour time frame. Lower high and a bear break with a lot of bear follow through. Daily time frame, are we still in an uptrend? Daily higher low was 190, just bounced above it. So I'm seeing a number of things. Number one, 12 hour time frame, most clear on Bitcoin. And I just translate that to all altcoins to see where they stand comparative to Bitcoin very easily. I'm also seeing a lot of these altcoins defending their daily support, at least initially. Daily uptrends are remaining intact. We got close to those daily supports and bull volume is showing up to defend them. So we know that Bitcoin's 12 hour tightening equilibrium is going to be key in the short term for the direction that it breaks. We know to be watching for the potential of 12 hour head and shoulders patterns on some of our names that have been stronger in the past, but are looking a little toppy, XTZ and Link. And let's see how this plays out over the next few days. And we'll check back in when we get a bit more clarity. I hope you are all wonderfully well and do good things. See you next time. Checking in on the garlic and onions. Garlic's good to go, but some of these onions, unfortunately, are bolting, which means going to seed, which means they aren't gonna make a big bulb because they're focusing all their energy on making flowers and seeds. So that can happen. This instance is most likely due to fluctuating temperatures. We had a spring where we were going up to the 70, upper 70s and then back down to the 30s. So you can see this variety in the middle and these are the seed heads, or the flower heads that are about to come. The red variety is not going to seed as much, but starting to see a few of them. So just might not have good onions. That being said, you can still take them now and use them as green onions, which we've been doing. The back row not seeding yet, so maybe we'll get a row out of it. Nope, they are. Bummer. Lots of green onion. 
when garlic does it, it's called scapes. And you can just cut it, knead it, and then they will stop and put their focus back into their bulbs. But onions won't go back. Bees still climbing, Brussels sprouts getting big, cabbage catching up. It started a little slow. You can see all these tendrils. Every day I'm still guiding them up the fence. All the lettuce doing well, starting to pick from it daily. Eventually, I forgot I have some bush beans. I was going to climb beans up this fence. But I need a spot for bush beans as well. So with this much lettuce, definitely some of it's going to get the boot. It also doesn't perform as well in the summer. It likes the cool weather a lot better. <laughs> 